Welcome back to Great Day Houston. We are with sommelier, that's a French word, Yannick Benjamin, and we're talking about this time caviar, which I think right. is another thing that a lot of people don't quite understand. Wine is so broad, right. so big. We have some misconceptions and some right. things we don't know about that, but I think caviar is kind of in that same category. Yep. So we have um, a really great company that makes some of the best caviar in the world. They're straight out of Bordeaux, um, down in the south of France. So typically when we think of caviar, we think talk about Russian caviar, um, caviar from Iran. But actually, this is from France. Wow. Um, okay. Of, and I love the yeah, French. I yeah. mean, the Cartier, uh, Coco Chanel. I yeah, love French. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And this is all sustainable, mind you. This is super important. So this is, you know, they're very... I mean, they really respect nature. They let, let it take its course. So some fabulous stuff that we're going to try right now. Okay. And we should start off with this first one. Right. And we're going to have it with a pairing. So typically, um, caviar with champagne is what we look for. But I decided to mix it up. We're going to do something from the Loire Valley, the wonderful Loire Valley, um, known as Le Jardin de France, which is like the Garden of France. Beautiful okay. place. So this is a muscadet that I'm, I'm pouring for you. Right here? What it, yeah. You can take a little sniff and taste to kind of wet your palate. Yeah, little palate cleanser. High in acidity. It's made from a grape called Melon de Bourgogne. This is from a favorite, my, one of my favorite producers, Pierre, um, sorry, uh, Pierre Luno Pepin is fa fab fabulous producer. Yeah. Minerally, just it's going to wake you up. And the thing is, when you make the combination is when you bring out favorites yeah. in both of them, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So, like, how much of this do I take? So, so just I know take that a little, you don't yeah, need a lot, just a little, right? Yeah, just a tip of your tongue, yeah, for sure. Okay, there you okay, go. That's it. Right. There you go. And this is um, oh, wow. So this is the this is from uh, this is the category primeur, okay, over here that they're making over here, Sturia caviar, and you should definitely check out their website. And this is more creamy and nutty, yeah. and definitely okay, a richer I, style. I'm gonna tell you something. Yeah. Okay, I'm making an admission here. I told him at the commercial break I went, <laughs> look, I'll taste anything, but I'm not big on caviar. I'm not sure that I want to uh, taste that. This is good. It does good. not taste anything right. like I thought it was going to taste. Right. Okay, you have changed, you oh, have well, changed good. me. Well, then take a little taste wow. of that. Okay. Um, and this little appellation from, from the Muscadets in the Loire Valley, right by the Atlantic, so really picks up that salty, that salinity, that brightness. Yeah, brightness. it's very so, smooth. Yeah, it goes with that kind of pairing over here, really special stuff right here. Mm, okay. Yeah. So then the second one that we're going to try over here, right. um, when you have a chance, um, I know you're enjoying this one, is, uh, is a category known as the vintage right over here. Okay. And this is quite salty over here. Okay. Um, and firm on the palate, texturally. So you'll texturally, you should feel a, a, a big difference. Yeah. Um, and also quite briny too. Should really I clean version. my palate first? You can, like a you piece can of do cheese that. Or something, uh, no, or don't, don't do the no, cheese yet. Yeah. Okay. So we're going right. to focus right. only on the caviar. All right. All right. <laughs> and tell me what you think. <laughs> oh, you're right. It's a little bit different. Yeah. A little bit more stronger taste, right. but good. It's not fishy. No, no. And what's great about caviar, you can do a lot of different things. You can do it exactly. Put a little bit on the smoked salmon, mm -hmm. kind of like you know, jazz it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Put it on lobster. They make for really great little uh, uh, pairings with other dishes. Yeah. So definitely check it and out. A little bit goes a long way. That's why you have these little can tins. You don't have to have a ton. That's of right. It. And then we're gonna try this fantastic Ocetra caviar, okay. which is sort of. And you can see the color over here. It's a quite a little different, different, a little bit yeah. different over here. And this one's uh, more. I've got this dry nut, dried. Um, kind of fruit ca character to it, but the most complex, right. quite delicious. Um, caviar is one of my favorite things to eat when we're, at, you know, you're having parties or people love caviar. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. <laughs> yeah. okay. I, I, I'm still blown away by, because I'm telling you, I would have been the person going, oh, that's okay, not for right, me. Right. But it really is, it has, does not taste like I thought it was going to taste. Right. No, no. It's no. really good. Did you um, get, and what do you think about the uh, muscadet we're having today? Okay, well, there's no problems with any wine for me. <laughs> Very, very good. That's but again, one, the point yeah. is, is to, is to bring certain things together because it brings out the taste in both of them. Brings and also brings people together, right? Because yep. wine is a communal thing, and then food and all that. So that's what, what that's yep. what it's all about for the holidays. All right. Before we go, I want to ask you about this right here because uh, oftentimes we see a glass with a stem on it right. for wine. Yeah. But we're, more and more, we're seeing these types of wine glasses here. Well, I love this because when you have a party, for sure you're gonna avoid any breakage. Probably there's always one clumsy person, right? And yeah, right. here you know you're guaranteed no breakage, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. So that's right? okay. It's all right. Now, could you serve a red out of something like this? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Because yeah. I'm the clumsy person. With red wine on your white carpet doesn't work. And you can do sparkling too as well. So yeah, yeah no issues with that. There, All you right. Know. Since we're in the season, I want to end with there are a lot of people, especially here in Houston, who are going through a tough time. Yep. We had Harvey and uh, yep. people are still cleaning up and home for the holidays takes on a whole new meaning. A lot of people are not in their homes for the right. holidays. What words of encouragement do you have for them to get over a tough time or get through? I shouldn't say get over. I don't want to dismiss it like that. But to help them get through a tough time. I went through that that time. I went through that moment. I had my car accident, went through a divorce, you know, um, and it was it was difficult. But I never lost focus on never losing your smile, 
always realizing that there's always somebody there that's, that's going to help you and someone that's out there that loves you. Yeah. And that's the most important thing. And it, it takes time. But once you get over through those difficult moments, you look back at it and it only makes you a better person. And I know it's very difficult right now. Right. But I know that the people of Houston are going are gonna to manage and they're going to get, get through it. And I really admire the people here in Texas. Really, Thank really, you. really, really unbelievable. And they have all our support in New York. Thank you very much. Yeah. And everything's made better with a good bottle of wine, right? Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. All right. And for more on Yannick Benjamin, you can log on to greatdayhouston.com. You can find more information about this caviar, also his wine selections as well.